Saturday, October 13th, 2018. I've got my largest collected specimen of bamboo so far. 24 days ago today is when I dug it up and moved it over here. And it's got branches coming out all the way down to here now. And the ones up the top, 24 days ago, those were barely three inches long, the longest one on the top. And now they're, it's probably about three and a half, almost four foot long. So you could say parts of that have been growing over an inch a day. But uh, doing real good. Seems to be rooted in pretty good when I push it and shake it a bunch, it springs back. <coughs> doesn't just flop over has a little bit of space there when you push on it but I'm pretty sure the roots are doing really good down there somebody said something about standing water yeah look at the worms in there yeah look at there's some roots reaching out in there a couple three four inches so yeah that's doing really good I pulled the ginger out of there. There's more worms right there. Look at that. Worms all through here. I moved the ginger over here. It's looking good too. It's not like the galangal Thai ginger. This grows really tall and if you crinkle those leaves you can smell the ginger. The galangal has uh, smaller leaves and uh, they come out a lot quicker. These are real long stalky leaves. Ooh, there's my lemongrass doing pretty good, some of them. They smell really good when you crinkle those. There's a little galangal just starting to sprout up in that pot there in the lemongrass. There's the it's sticking right out of the ground on that one. That one's got its first leaf. And then over here in this bucket, if we can see anything, there, that's a little better. This one's got leaves. This is one of the first leaves that came out there. And these ones are just starting down there. But they uh, have a lot smaller leaf. Kind of stocky leaf too, but those these are smaller and they came out a lot quicker than the other ginger leaves. Oh, and I got tons of peppers over here. These are just starting to start kicking here. Doing really good, getting big leaves. And then all my other ones got tons of peppers on them. Bunch of chocolate ghost peppers here. Look at the color on those things. Incredible chocolate, chocolatey brown, red, just gorgeous. Look at that. And these are some scorpion peppers maybe, or I don't know. These are scorpion peppers. There's a scorpion pepper. Sometimes they get that uh, greenish yellow kind of look there, that one plant I have. And they don't ripen and last very long. They don't do so good. This is a chocolate habanero there. Also beautiful color on those. <clears throat> you can get them in the light. Another habanero over here, there. <clears throat> a little really pretty peppers those habaneros are. And they grow, they're not too hard to grow. They're, and they're kind of bug resistant because they don't have all those deep cracks and holes and crevices. Oh, there, that one. That one has a little tiny horn on a little tiny spike growing in there if you can a couple little spikes there maybe pretty peppers cut <laughs>